Today we will demonstrate the recognition of two different substances with the smell board. By doing this we will prove how reliably the machine learning model for smell recognition works. The two different substances for which we will demonstrate the recognition are hydrogen sulfide and ammonia. On the one hand we will show this in the smell annotator app and on the other hand directly on the smell board. Now we start using the smell annotator app. To recognize a smell we will use the recognize smell feature. We firstly make sure to connect the smell board to the smell annotator app. Therefore we will click to the icon device connection on the right hand corner of the smell annotator app. We continue by clicking the button connect to the smell board. After a few seconds we see that the device is successfully connected. In the drop down menu above the diagram there are machine learning models available. We select H2S versus NH3 and click start measurement on the right hand corner. It will take a few seconds. The appearing lines on the diagram show that the measurement has already started. The gray line is the recognition line and in the menu bar we will see which color is associated with which smell. As you can see here, normal air is associated with gray color. Before we move on we make sure that the blue response line is stable. There should be no drift and there should be no influence from another smell or substance. On the smell board the LED is green, which shows fresh air. We firstly start with measuring H2S. On the smell board a yellow LED will appear for the recognition of H2S smell. A red LED will show us that ammonia smell was recognized. When it looks like the response line in the smell annotator app is stable we screw up the cover from the flask with the hydrogen sulfide and move the smell board above the flask. And we are seeing immediate recognition. On the smell board the LED turns from green to yellow. In the smell annotator app the gray line turns black. This verifies that hydrogen sulfide was reliably recognized. Now we will move the smell board away. Screw the flask and let the sensor recover for a few seconds. The recovery from hydrogen sulfide is very short. On the smell board, the green LED lights up again and in the smell annotator app the gray line appears back which both shows it is normal air again. And this is the reason why we can already start with the next measurement. We will now expose the smell board to ammonia. We screw up the flask and move the smell board above the flask. In the smell annotator app we are seeing that the reaction of the blue response line is going up. And now we see a red line in the smell annotator app together with a red LED on the smell board which both shows that ammonia was recognized. We are now moving the smell board away and screw the flask to make sure that there is no influence from the ammonia smell for the sensor recovery. Immediately the green LED for fresh air appears back on the smell board. 